Okay, hi everyone. Welcome to this new video series on the CompTIA Security Plus course. Introduction to security. Welcome. Before we launch into heavy duty security, I'd like to go over some fundamental, sorry, I'd like to go over some foundation level security concepts. I recommend that everyone read this chapter, but if you are a seasoned professional, you might opt to scan and skip it. For those of you new to the IT security field, this chapter and the rest of the book act as the basis of your IT sleuthing career. It is so important in today's organizations to protect information and information systems from unauthorized access and to prevent the modification, disruption or destruction of data unless it is approved by the organization that in a nutshell is information security companies consider it so important that many IT directors have transformed into full fledged executives chief information officer CIO chief security officer CSO and chief technology officer CTO but let's not get ahead of ourselves. This book is for persons wanting to embark on or continue along um, the path as a security administrator. Many other names are given to that particular position, but we'll stick with that one for the sake of continuity throughout this book. This entire book is all about information security. It's about locating the risks and vulnerabilities to your organization and eliminating those risks or at least reducing them to a point acceptable to your organization security 101 the first thing that we need to get out of the way is that nothing is ever completely or truly secure people might give clear definitions of something that could be completely secure but it is a utopia something that can be imagined but never achieved there is always a way around or through many security precautions that we construct now that it's understood that there's no perfect scenario we can move on to some security basics that can help build a solid foundation upon which the proper mitigating of security risks can begin the cia of computer security now uh, we're not talking about the acronym associated with national security, but computers can indeed be the victim of covert operations. To defend against the worst, IT people attempt to adhere to three core principles of information security, confidentiality, integri integrity and availability. Collectively, these three are known as the CIA triad as illustrated in figure 1-1. By employing the concepts of confidentiality, integrity and availability to its data, an organization can properly secure its hardware, software and communications. Let's discuss each of the three items of the CIA triad in a little more depth. Confidentiality. This concept centers on preventing the disclosure of information to unauthorized persons. For the public, it signifies social security numbers or other country-specific identification, driver license information, bank accounts and passwords, and so on. For organizations, this can include all the preceding information, but it actually denotes the confidentiality of data. To make data confidential, the organization must work hard to make sure that it can be accessed only by authorized individuals um, this book spends a good amount of time discussing and showing you how to accomplish this for example when you use a credit card number at a store online the number should be encrypted with a strong cipher so that the card number cannot be compromised next time uh, you buy something over the internet take a look at how the credit card number is being kept confidentiality as a security professional confidentiality should be your number one goal in keeping data confidential you remove threats absorb vulnerabilities and reduce risks integrity 
this means that the data has not been tampered with. Authorization is necessary before data can be modified in any way. This is done to protect the data's integrity. For example, if a person were to delete a required file either maliciously or inadvertently, the integrity of that file will have been violated. There should have been permissions in place to stop the person from deleting the file. Here's a tip for you. Some organizations do not delete data ever. Availability, securing computers and networks can be a strain on resources. Availability that data is obtainable regardless of how information is stored, accessed or protected also means that data should be available regardless of the malicious attack that might have been preparated on it. Um, these three principles should be applied when dealing with the security of hardware, software or communications. They should be the foremost in the mind of a security administrator. Another acronym to live by is the triple A of computer security, authentication, authorization and accounting. Authentication, when a person's identity is established with proof and confirmed by a system typically, this requires a digital identity of some sort, a username, password, biometric data or other authentication scheme, authorization. When a user is given access to certain data or areas of a building, authorization happens after authentication can be determined in several ways including permissions, access control list, time of day restrictions and other login and physical restrictions, accounting, uh, the tracking of data, computer usage and network resources. Often it means logging, auditing and monitoring of the data and resources. Accounting, accountability is quickly becoming more important in today's secure networks. Part of this concept is a burden of proof. You as the person must provide proof if you believe that someone committed an unauthorized action. When you have indisputable proof of something users have done and they cannot deny it, it is known as non-repudiation. The basics of information security. Information security is the act of protecting data and information systems from unauthorized access, unlawful modification and disruption, disclosure, corruption and destruction. We discuss how to implement information security throughout this entire book, but for now let's talk about several basic types of threats we need to be aware of to be an effective security administrator, malicious software known as malware. This includes computer viruses, worms, trojan, horses, um, spyware rootkits, adware ransomware, crypto malware and other types of unwanted software. Everyone has heard of a scenario in which a user's computer was compromised to some extent due to malicious software. Um, unauthorized access. Access to computer resources and data without the consent of the owner. It might include approaching the system trespassing communicating, storing and retrieving data, intercepting data and or any other methods that would interfere with the computer's normal work. Access to data must be controlled to ensure privacy. Improper administrative access falls into this category as well. System failure, computer crashes or individual application failure. This can happen due to several reasons, including user error, malicious activity and hardware failure. Social engineering. Um, the act of manipulating users into revealing confidential information or performing other actions detrimental to the users Almost everyone gets emails nowadays from unknown entities making false claims or asking for personal information, money. This is one example of social engineering. Many information security technologies and concepts can protect against or help recover from the preceding th 
threats. The question is, does your organization have the resources to implement them? Even on a low budget, the answer is usually yes. It all starts with planning, which is effectively free. In general, a security administrator should create a protective security plan that usually starts with the implementation of security controls. When creating the security plan, some IT professionals divide the plan into three categories of controls as follows physical things such as alarm systems surveillance cameras locks id cards security guards and so on technical items such as smart cards access control lists acls encryption and network authentication administrative uh, various policies and procedures security awareness training contingency uh, planning disaster recovery plans, DRPs, administrative controls um, can also be broken down into two subsections, procedural controls and legal regulatory controls. Um, so I'm going to adhere today for this video. If you like listening, please consider like, sharing and subscribing. Thank you.